Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study additions that go over to the next 10. Specifically, we are adding a two-digit number and a single-digit number, but so that this sum, the answer, will go over to the next 10. And let's look at some examples to make this clear. 26 plus 8. Now, you know that you can start out by thinking of the 6 plus 8 here, but that is more than 10, right? So we see it in the picture that I can form a new 10 from the 6 and from the 4 over here. So now I have three tens and then four dots. So the answer is 34. Let me do it again over here. 39 plus 5. You can even use the 9 trick here. The 9 takes one dot from there, and now we have a new 10, and the 5 has become 4, and the answer is 4 tens and 4, 44. 38 plus 6. You can think of it this way. You can first complete the next 10 like this. 38 and 2. That would make 40 the next 10. But 2 is not enough because you have to add a 6, so you need to add for more after that, right? The 6 is like broken into two parts, 2 and 4. And so now here, this here makes 40 and that is 4. 44. Let me show you that same thing again. 67 plus 8. If you think of first filling the next 10, 67 plus how many more would make the next 10? You have 7, you need 3. So this would make 70. But since you need to add 8, it's not enough to add just 3. You need to add 5 more, right? Because 8 is 3 and 5. And now we have 70 here and 5 here, 75. With these problems, we are going to use the 9 trick. Because they all end, we have a 2-digit number that ends in 9. 29 plus 5. 29 wants to be 30, okay? Basically, you are filling up the next 10, and so 5 becomes 4, one less, right? So this addition becomes 30 plus 4, 34. Again, 79 plus 7. 79 wants to become 80, and so it gets one dot from 7, and 7 becomes 6. So in total we have 80 and 6, right? 86. Once more, 19 plus 9. 19 becomes 20. This becomes one less. 20 and 8. Right? 28. Try this one on your own. 90 here, 3 here, 93. And I'll show you one more way to solve these kinds of problems. And that is that we will use a helping problem, so to speak. 47 plus 7. My helping problem is 7 plus 7. Okay? And that one I already know from memory. It is 14. Right? 10 and 4. And so I will use that to solve 47 plus 7. In 47 plus 7 I have the 40 and then I have the 7 plus 7. And so 7 plus 7 makes 14 and then I have the 40. I have 40 and 14 to add. That will be 50. Four. The answer to this original problem is 54. Notice both of them end in 4, okay? And both of them went over to the next 10, right? 47 and there's 50. It went the next 10 to the 50s and they end both in 4. I'll show you over here too. 88 plus 3. My helping problem is just uh, one's digits. 8 plus 3 equals 11, and I think, okay, that went over the 10 by one dot, or by one, yeah? And so this also will go over to the next 10 by one. The answer will be 91. Again, here's our problem, and here's the helping problem. 8 plus 7, you should know. 15, yes, think of it as 10 and 5, or it went 5 over the 10. And this one here will go 5 over the next 10. Here's 30, 30 something, so the next 10 is 40 something, it will be 45. 9 plus 9, 
18. 49 plus 9 will go over the next 10 by 8, like that one. So it will be 58. Right? 46 plus 7. Our helping problem is 6 plus 7, which is 13. It is 10 and 3. It goes 3 over the 10. And so this one here will go 3 over the next 10. It will be 53. One last one. Try it on your own. 8 plus 8, 16. 6 over the 10. And so this one will be 6 more than the next 10, 66. Okay, lastly, we get to then solve a problem with Matthew. Matthew took 37 pictures of a pretty bird and 6 pictures of a squirrel. He deleted 10 pictures. Okay, they must have not been very, very good, you know, so he deleted 10 bad pictures. How many does he have left? Okay, do you have any ideas how to solve this? Matthew took 37 pictures and 6 pictures and deleted 10 pictures. How many pictures does he have now on his camera? I would first add 37 and 6 so we find out how many pictures he took, right? 37 and then add 6. And then the deleted Okay, it means that he took away 10 pictures from his camera. So that means we subtract 10. First we add, then we subtract 10. 37 plus 6. Now we can use the idea I explained here, the helping problem idea. Think of 7 and 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3 more than 10. So this here will be 3 more than the next 10, right? It will be 43. And now you subtract 10. You know how to do that, right? And we will get 33 pictures left. Okay. And thank you, Matthew, for the problem. It was a nice problem. Well done with this lesson.